Welcome back again, folks, to the house that never sleeps. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think you can. Uh, this video, I'm going to be reviewing a new flashlight. Uh, I'll tell you about the flashlight in a minute. First, I'm going to say, you don't see a whole lot of reviews on this channel, okay? I get all kinds of crap to review for you guys. And I don't review it. I usually end up giving it away, giving it to somebody. But when I get a product that I think is worthy, that really stands up to what test I've put it to so far, then I do review it. And I, they, I, they send me free stuff all the time to review, but it doesn't all make it to the screen. This light made it to the screen. Uh, I just want to say that. You can look through my channel. I, I reviewed some J5 Tactical Lights, which we will compare this to. Here one is. And uh, those are good lights, too. Yeah, I, my favorite up until now and uh, the total low hand light I really like that light still got it still use it but this is worthy of a review so real quickly I'll tell you about it. it's made by a company called Infray I-N-F-R-A-Y it's an Infray tactical light let me get it up here close where you can see it takes a uh, one double A battery okay uh, it's got a certified Cree XPE2R4 LED. I'll put a link down here below. You can go and read about it on Amazon. You can read more about it there than what, what I'm telling you here. But that, that certified Cree XPE2R4 Cree LED is wicked, man. It's unbelievable they get that much light out of a, a AA battery. A 1.5 volt battery is what it takes. Is what it is. The thing is water and impact resistant. Now I haven't had it underwater. I've had it in some heavy, it was soaked man. I was in some rain the other night and had this light and it was just dripping off of, off of me in the light and the light worked fine. It never faced it. I don't know about underwater. I didn't try it underwater. The thing has three settings, okay? It's got a very high setting, a low setting, and then a uh, fly setting. And what that is, is like if you start to press, depress the button here, that's when you depress it halfway, that's the setting you got. I think that might be high. Yeah, it is, okay? Now if I let it out and I depress it again, you can see there, I think, it's much dimmer. Press it on in to engage it, and that's on low. Okay, if I turn it off and then just uh, depress it very lightly, you'll get the flashing mode. Well, there it is. And then if I engage it, press it on in and lock it in, you know, that's for if you're fighting somebody, hold the, the light in your hand like this and bang them in the head with it, man. And that flashing light right in their face is going to disorient them. Some people, it, it even, what they say, will put them into a seizure. I've heard that. It's true, actually. But uh, on that brightest mode, it's 180 lumens bright. That's pretty bright for a one a double A battery, and it will burn on that mode uh, roughly from uh, roughly 4.5 hours, four and a half hours. That's how long it'll burn on the very brightest mode. Uh, I don't want that. There's bright, 4.5 hours. There's low, uh, 10 hours, I think. Yeah, I got notes over here. And I don't know, I didn't read anything about how long it would do that, but it wouldn't take very long to drive you nuts, or your opponent, whoever you're banging into the face with it. It's a little rough around the, uh, around the edge right here. Uh, I'm figuring that's by design to rip flesh up when you bang it into somebody's head. And it's also made, it looks like it's made to put like a flat wrench in and turn and take the top of it off. Now, we're going to take them outside and compare it to this Cree light, which also takes a uh, AA battery. I'll just show you real quick here. Now you can see the difference there. Granted, the Cree is not a new battery. This is a new battery, so it's really not a fair test. I can see in the camera an amazing difference in those. So we'll take them outside. Come and get the camera right now. I'll take you outside, the lights and the liquor and everything else. And we'll uh, show you what they look like outside. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll do. Ooh, the booty bop. Here is the J5 tactical light. Now, uh, like I said, this is not really a fair test because this light, this battery's been in this light for a while. Uh, you can put it on the spot. 
And uh, I don't know if you can see that tree right there. Or maybe you can't see it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that tree is about uh, 10 yards away. And you can see how the J5 Tactical is lighting it up. Granted, the battery is shot in that light. There we are up close again. Oh, no wonder it's flashing. There we go. Let's look at the tree again. Okay, there's the tree about 10 yards away. And uh, a little table there. The camera won't even focus because the light's not bright enough. It, it's not a fair test because this battery is shot. But check out the infra. Infra. Check that out. And now the camera won't focus. There we got some focus now. You can see the tree with this light, I think. Yeah. On wide uh, mode. Now this, this light will turn into a spot as well. See what I mean there? You can see the tree now. Check that out, man. You can see that right there. It's probably those flowers are probably 20 yards away with one single double A battery. Now I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just I get to keep the light, but I get to keep all the stuff they send me. And it all doesn't make it to the screen. If it's not worthy, then like I say, I don't show it. But if I think something like this is uh something you guys might be able to use. I mean I use flashlights a lot, you know. And uh, I like to have good ones. And this is definitely a good one. There's wind chimes I built. Thank you, I got a video of that if you want to look for it. About eight feet long. You can hear those things like three or four miles away. <laughs> so there you go. Let me get the uh, let me get the uh, J5 Tactical again. And there it is on spot mode. But there again, the battery is very weak in this light. So you know it's not going to show up like the camera's having trouble focusing that low of light. J5 Tactical is a good light too. I highly recommend them. I mean, I'm not putting them down because this one's dim. It's dim because the battery, I use it to work on guitars. I don't even know how long the battery's been in it. But uh, with that battery, it's no comparison to that. Check that out, man. Infray, I-N-F-R-A-Y. All right, let's take it inside and look at it a little closer. There's a difference in size. This is the J5 Tactical. This is the Infray. Uh, this one I know is waterproof. I've had it into all kinds of crap. But it needs a battery. I'll admit that. I wondered if there were rubber O-rings in here or not. There's the one battery. That's a cheap alkaline battery too. Dollar General Store. We all know how cheap those are. And yes, there is an O-ring right there. If you can see it, I don't know if the camera will get it or not, but it does have an O-ring there. This is good. Very much good. I always like to take this part off. Uh, this right here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Screw the lens out of it. I don't want to drop anything. I knew that lens would fall out. And we'd like to see an O-ring here as well. I'm taking an ice pick here. And picking around in there, what looks like it might be an O-ring. You know what I mean? It's kind of, and you can hear it. There's no O-ring there, that's all. That's all uh, high-grade aluminum. I think that's what they said these were made out of. Maybe, maybe an army, some kind of army aluminum. I forget what it said. Well, that's kind of a, it feels like when you work the spot, it feels like it's sealed, but there I couldn't. I want to look one more time. Really would like to see an O ring right there in that. The Total Low Hand flashlight, the big one that I reviewed, it did not have one in it either. And I've, like I say, I've had it in all kinds of conditions. It's never failed. There could possibly be an O ring. You can see how this slides. Okay, there could be an O-ring behind that white uh, piece because it feels like it's sealed. It really feels like there's resistance there. And I'm thinking an O-ring maybe in it, back in here or behind that thing would be what I'm feeling and why that resistance is there. 
But like I say, I've had it in rain and uh, terrible rain, man. Soaking rain. And it did not, it kept it functioned. And it never got any water inside of it or anything. That fits very tight on the J5 tactical spot. Infrared spot. Uh, go into wide mode here. There is the J5 tactical. Granted, I've got a lot of bright lights on here. Got my whole lighting system fired up. I should maybe not do that. Let's try this, okay? There's the J5 tactical. There's the infray on wide, not spot, but I guess you call it wide spot. But big difference. But, but that's, like I said before, that's an unfair comparison because the J5 Tactical battery has been in there forever. I don't even know how long, but I know it's been used a lot. So there you go, infray. That's, uh, I like it, man. What can I say? I've used it in uh, several conditions and it performed well. I've dropped it several times. Didn't seem to hurt it at all. Dropped it on concrete out there at once on the carport. And it was on, and it flickered when it hit, but that was all. It kept working fine. I even knocked the place in it somewhere, I saw. But that high-grade aluminum it's made out of, it, I guess, can take a pretty good punch. And can also give a pretty good punch. You hold it like that and beat somebody in the head, like I said. Anyways, uh, I'll put a link down below here. You can go to Amazon and read about it and decide if you like me and you like good flashlights. You don't want to miss out on this. This is a good flashlight. Check it out. Thanks for watching. See you on uh, guitar repairs very much soon.